Hello friends, welcome to Electronics Engineering Exclusive. Today in the quest, we will discuss why balance modulator is called balance modulator. It sounds so weird, but let's discuss it. Before going in depth of balance modulator, let's discuss the type of modulators. There are three types of modulators, multiplier modulators, non-linear modulators, switching modulators. Balance modulator is a type of non-linear modulator. So let's discuss why it is a type of non-linear modulator. In a non-linear modulator, modulation is achieved by non-linear devices such as semiconductor diode or transistor. You can see by the block diagram, there is a non-linear device which is expressed as NL whose output is YT and input is XT. We can represent YT as AXT plus BX square T plus CX cube T plus dx to the power 4t and so on. But the major contribution is of xt and x square t. So by approximation, we can write yt as axt plus bx square t. So since in balance modulator, we use nonlinear elements, so it is a type of nonlinear modulator. Now let's discuss why balance modulator is called balance modulator. Let's take a typical block diagram of DSB-SC modulator that is double side band suppressed carrier modulator in which you can see there are two inputs MT which is a message signal and cos omega CT that is a carrier signal. Here we are interested in calculating the ZT that is output of the system. ZT can be expressed as Y1T minus Y2T as you can see by the block diagram. And since Y1T is the output of a non-linear device whose input is X1T, we can write Y1T as AX1T plus BX1 square T. Also, Y2T can be written as AX2T plus BX square T. When we solve this by applying X1T as MT plus cos omega CT and X2T as MT minus cos omega CT, we get ZT as 2A MT plus 4B MT cos omega CT. Let's draw some important conclusion on this mathematical derivation. We have given input as MT and cos omega CT, but at output we are getting MT alone. Cos omega CT lost its identity at the output. So in this circuit there are inputs MT and cos omega CT. The last summer ZT no longer contains one of the input, the carrier signal omega CT. So carrier signal omega CT is lost at the output. The circuit acts as balanced bridge for one of the input, that is carrier. So we can say the system is acting as a balanced bridge for the carrier. So that's why it is called a balanced modulator because it's balanced with respect to carrier. Let's discuss the type of balance modulator. The circuit is balanced with respect to one input, that is the carrier. The other input still appears at the output, that is empty. So it is called single balance modulator. If a circuit is balanced with respect to both inputs, then it is called double balanced modulator, whose example is ring modulator. So this is it from this video. Next in the quest, we will discuss switching modulator and most precisely the ring modulator. If you want the notification of the next video, please subscribe to our channel. You can also like, share and comment on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.